What's up, you guys? It's your boy LT Top Westman, and I'm back up again with another video. And before we get into this video, man, the only way we can let, help this channel like grow is y'all follow my Instagram page, my um, Twitter page, and as well my Snapchat. I barely get on Snapchat like that, but I got all that right here in the front um, on this picture, so you guys can see that. So I'll have my Instagram and Twitter. But y'all can follow me at those things so we can get the channel growing more, and I appreciate that very well. All right, let's get right into it, man. So I don't know if y'all noticed, but lately on Twitter, especially if you're like an advocate on Twitter, I'm really active on Twitter. I'm always on Twitter. Um, like I said, you can follow me at AO underscore T time nine. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm very active on Twitter all the time. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's a trend that's been talked about unpopular opinions. Um, and people are normally quoted with an unpopular opinion and then talk about it or whatever their unpopular opinion is. They'll express it as a quote on the tweet. Um, and I decided to come up with an unpopular opinion sports edition. And um, I have three unpopular opinions that I'm going to talk about tonight on this show. And um, I just want to see how you guys feel about it. And also in the comment box, you can let me know what your unpopular opinions are. Um, first, unpopular opinion that I'm going to get into off the rip. This is the NBA Finals. I feel like this is a good time to get into it. A lot of people are probably going to disagree with me on, on this. LeBron James can take any team to the finals. I'm sorry. I, I'm i legit convinced if he came to the Hornets, he'll make them go to the finals. If he went back to the Heat, they will go to the finals. If he went to the Bulls, even if he went to Brooklyn, I still think he would probably make it to the finals. Like, that's just me. I think LeBron, this team he has with the Cavs now, I mean, they're not horrible like how the media is making it seem like, but they're not really talented either. A lot less talented to, than the last three teams he took to the finals. So I definitely think LeBron James can literally take anybody. I think he could honestly take the Phoenix Suns to the finals. Him, Devin Booker, I mean, that's enough for, I feel like, him to take – Anybody to the finals. I really do. I feel like LeBron can literally take anybody to the finals. Um, Second unpopular opinion. Pete Carroll is the most overrated coach of all time. Period. I think a lot of times, especially in the NFL, especially in the NFL, he picks up a lot of praise from his days at USC. I mean, don't leave me wrong. Great recruiter. He knew how to recruit kids. He knew how to get him there. I give him complete respect on that. Um, but, I mean, he's really not all that great of a coach how people make him seem like. Like, in the NFL right now, I can name five coaches that are better than, than Pete Carroll. I would say, I would say Belichick, that's a given. I think that's just an automatic. I would say Belichick, I would say. I would say Belichick. I'm trying to think of everybody right now on the top of my head. I would say Belichick. I would even go as far as saying. I would even go as far as saying Dan Quinn is better than him. And he's a disciple of Pete Carroll. Um, Sean Payton is a better coach than him. I'm trying to think of all the coaches in the NFL. Um, I'm trying to think of some more. Off the top of my head, but okay, I'll give him that. He might be top three or four. I'd say top five. Top five, he might be top five. But I still feel I can't think of any coaches off the top of my head right now. But Pete Carroll, uh, I would even say Dan Quinn's a better coach than him. I mean, not Pete Carroll. Um, Sean Payton, uh, Belichick, Quinn. I would even put Ron Rivera in the discussion with Pete Carroll, honestly, being better than Pete Carroll personally. And I'm trying to think of somebody else that's kind of like Mike Tomlin. I feel like Mike Tomlin is just as good as Pete Carroll. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't get that. I mean, I get the hype on Pete Carroll, but him being like a top three coach in the NFL, yeah, no. Nah. Top five, I can see more likely, but top three, no. I, I, I see more so top five. But anyway, um, my third unpopular sports opinion that I hear a ton. I don't know if you guys only hear this a lot, but I hear this a ton, and I just don't technically agree with it. Let's talk about it. I think Donovan Mitchell 
is better than Ben Simmons. That's my umpire. Like, a lot of people ride the Ben Simmons trust the process wave. And, oh, and Philly fans probably going to get all in the mentions on this. I feel like Donovan Mitchell is better than – I feel like Donovan Mitchell is going to have a better career than Ben Simmons. I know Ben Simmons get compared to LeBron a lot, but – I just feel like Donovan Mitchell is just going to be like Dwayne Wade Jr., basically. Like, I see so much potential in Donovan Mitchell. And I've this argument has been going on now for like two months on the fact of like who's going to win rookie of the year and stuff like that. And I think they announced it at the end of the finals or around this. They, the announcement should be coming out anytime now, really, basically, between now and the end of the finals. But I think that Donovan Mitchell is a better player than, than Ben Simmons. I really do. I don't really even see how you can argue that. Um, Donovan Mitchell basically single-handedly took OKC out of the playoffs. Literally. Single-handedly did it, basically. Um, ben Simmons, I mean, he's a good player, but you got to look who's around Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons has Joel Embiid, uh, you know, all-star. Um, you know, he just has kind of talent around him. But I feel like Utah, who do they really have? Rudy, Rudy, Rudy Gohart, you can give him that, I would say. I believe Derek Favors is still out there, but he's getting old. Um, Ingles is another kind of surprising role player. has been playing pretty good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I mean, I just feel like the, you know, I feel like more so the Philadelphia Sixers actually have talent now because they've been tanking all those years. And now they actually have some people that can actually produce and make plays. They have J.J. Reddick, good player. They have Joel Embiid, good player. Uh, Sargent don't get a lot of the, you know, he doesn't get a lot of recognition he deserves, but he's a good player. Uh, Markel Fultz still developing. They have some good, Robert Covington. You know what I'm saying? They have some good players in Philly now. You know what I'm saying? And they're really talented. So I honestly do feel like Donovan Mitchell is better than, than Ben Simmons. And I feel like that for right now is solid to me. You know, and that's just my personal opinion. But you guys get in the comment box. Tell me y'all unpopular opinions in sports. Man, I want to see what y'all think about my unpopular opinions. But those are my three that I've been hearing a lot lately, and that's what I want to talk about. So you guys get in the comment box and let me know how y'all feel. I'm out.